<laughs> my name is Erwin Sarmiento, and I'm an Oregon badminton player, also an USA badminton player. Hey, so Erwin, how long have you played badminton for? I've been playing badminton for four years now. Okay, and what got you started in badminton? I was going to join tennis at first, and then he told me about badminton, how it was a, a pretty fun sport and all that. So I took his advice, and I went for it. I went to tryouts, and I made uh, Aragon badminton team, so. Okay. So what level of badminton do you play at? Well, I play under 19, uh, men's singles, and also men's doubles. Um, and I u usually train for um, four to five hours a day. Um, what kind of opportunities do you have because of badminton that you feel that you wouldn't have otherwise? Well, I get to travel to another places, um, and that's pretty much one thing that I feel like I wouldn't have if I wouldn't join badminton. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you say it's changed who you are as a person? Yeah, it, it has. Um, in some ways that I feel like it's important to know and like how so would you say it would be like more like work ethic or like personality wise like what would you I feel like yeah personality wise um because now I feel like I value things more than I used to so yeah okay. what's something that you appreciate about badminton that you feel most people don't know about it's a pretty, you have to think on your toes that what's um, usually my coach tell me. Um, it, it's a pretty mental game. Uh, it can get pretty mental, but yeah, that's something that. Okay. Yeah. And then who, to whom would you credit your success to? Um, my, my friends, uh, also my doubles partner. Um, Robert Sato, um, <laughs> my mom, and my coaches. How did you start playing badminton with Irwin? Um, so I started playing with Irwin at uh, this club called BBC, Bay Badminton Center. And uh, we trained together starting in intermediate class. We went to advanced, and our coach said we should try playing some tournaments. So our first tournament, freshman year, um, I paired up with Erwin, and that was when we first started playing. Okay. And what would you say Erwin is like as a teammate? Um, Erwin as a teammate, he's he's pretty reliable. He's uh, he's pretty consistent. Um, he does when we're when we're down, he does get pretty serious. Um, and I don't know. I like to mess around more, so there's kind of that in between us. But overall, he's he's a really reliable, good partner to have. And what's Erwin like off the court as a friend? Uh, off the court, uh, he's a great friend. Like, um, I'll I'll sit with him at lunch. Uh, he plays some of the video games I play. Um, he he doesn't get that serious at all off the court. Um, and he's generally pretty funny. What's it like playing with Erwin, and how do your playing styles differ? So uh, when we play doubles, generally it'll be me in the back because I'm more of a I like to smash a lot more, and Erwin would be a lot, he's more of a touch player, so he'll be in the front a lot more doing nets and more like fancy shots, and I'll be in the back smashing, smashing, smashing. Um, what was your first impression of Erwin freshman year? Um, freshman year, you know, when the, the freshmen come out, it's always, they're, it's unique. You got to figure out, they're still a little goofy, they, a lot of them haven't ever played badminton before. Um, he had a passion for the game, but he, he wasn't very skilled. Um, I think by his sophomore year, he, it was something that he really wanted to do, so he started to train outside. Um, his junior year, unfortunately, he wasn't able to participate as much as he wanted, but he still continued to train because he still had that devotion. Um, and I think that has culminated in this year. He's the number one boy on the team, so um, he'll be number one boy singles, and I think he's going to challenge all the other guys in the league um, to be one of the top players. Okay. Awesome. Um, would you say that there are any particular like unique contributions that um, that Erwin brings to the team? Uh, well, I, th I think anybody that's willing to play singles, um, you have to respect it. It's it's just you versus the other person. Badminton's a very fast-paced game that 
Um, you have to have, not that you have to have a lot of cardiovascular endurance, but the points are fast so that you've got to be able to be agile, quick, and yet you still have to have endurance because you turn right around and start the next point. So he's shown that he can handle being a number one um, boy single player and excel at it. Um, would you say that he is particularly similar or different to any players that you've trained with in the past or that you're currently training with? Um, you know, I think the one thing that he has that I haven't seen a lot of uh, in the players that come through is he really has a dedication. He, this is something he really wants to do, and you can see it in his training. Um, he spends time outside of practice training. He spends the summertime training. So this is something it's, he, he's passionate for this, and you can see that that – transmits onto his level of play and how he's been able to develop himself. And last question, um, what would you say your favorite, what are your favorite qualities about Irwin? Um, he's funny, you know, he, he gets out there and, and he'll goof around with people. He's also um, very willing to help the younger, the freshmen, if they're learning their skills, he's very patient, he's, he'll walk them through and, and you know, there's one of me and there's you know, 30 varsity and then another 30 exhibition players. So anytime I can grab an older kid that can help train some of the kids, it helps me out. And he's he's very good at explaining things. So I think it's a benefit for our team um, that he can help and step in and kind of play just as a, as a team captain and a leader kind of a situation. Alrighty. Thank you for your time.